Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video for Scrapless Sunday where we decide to use this sketch or this layout. And this layout is all about cheese magic. So I got out the September kit from the hip kit and I decided that I'm going to do something different with this particular layout. And it is from Katie Squires. I do find her on, we found her on Instagram. It actually came from Laura. And Laura found her through um, Scrappy Happy Girl. But it's um, Katie Squires. And I'll link that down below as well. So what I decided to do is, is that because this is like my teacher um, layout that I wanted to do, I wanted to gravitate a little bit more to the rainbow color as well as what's in this sketch and or the layout I should say and then I do know that Laura has done it as well and did a little bit of the rainbow style but I wanted to do something a little bit different so I started out where you see me do this and then off camera I put my back mint color to the, my background to this because it matches this collection really well and then I do come in to finish the last few bits I distress everything and I cut out all of the white pieces that I didn't want to be shown in this and I did put most of it down on camera off camera and then I'm showing you the last pieces and I wanted it to look like this. I wanted the photo to be down on the bottom. And I do make it look like the rainbow is coming out of my picture. And after I put down all of the flowers and everything on there, you'll see what it um, looks like. And it's super duper gorgeous. I, you know, I was a little skeptical on doing this particular layout because so many people... And I am saying so many people are doing this rainbow style layout because of this paper. But I wanted it to be different than everybody else's. And I think I achieved that because everybody was just doing the layout with a bunch of splattering. And um, Katie is definitely the different from the other ones as well. But there's a lot of um, ladies. And I am completely fine with the way it looks like completely fine I love this layout I love Laura's because I have seen Laura's and I love how mine turns out I decided to do a bunch of I finished I actually finished that big piece of paper that I did this other layout with with all those flowers I did all of my fussy cutting off camera the night before so that those were ready to go for me to do this particular layout and I did use all of them but one. Now, I am scrap um, chatting with Amy just to let you know. So if you do see me lifted up a little bit, you'll see why. Or you'll know why it's off camera. And I'm just going through everything to see what I can do and make sure that everything looks good. And I do back this up with some foam tape. Um, now, some of my foam tape does not have the sticky side and I missed the sticky side but I got to use up what I used from Germany when I purchased it so here I am I'm coming in with my big clusters and I do leave the big clusters there and I make sure that these look really like just big clusters of flowers with the rainbow going through it I love my background piece because I feel that that's very teacher ish I have tons of sticky notes everywhere on my desk at work. I don't essentially use washi tape, but I swear I should be using washi tape to hold down my sticky notes because those are like my memories. I feel like I have lost my mind compared to when I'm in retail full, full time. But essentially, I think that putting all of this together and pulling the butterfly colors out of my photograph my shirt says, um, my shirt makes it really pop because I love the saying that's on there. So I really don't put a title title on this, but I do like that it states in there, make yourself perfect. And we know that we can't be perfect, 
But I feel that if you can succeed and make certain things perfect in your life, everything else that you're not perfect in will just come together. And I figured, you know what? Everything is coming together. I absolutely love what I am doing. I love that I've changed careers. And I just love how this layout turns out. Like everything is just perfect about it. So here I am, I do get out my thread. I do get out to make everything look with blacks and grays because I wanted to pull in the blacks and grays out of the flowers that I fussy cut out because they have black writing. It's not navy blue, it's black. So I'm layering all of that down to make that go perfect for me. And I do come in, I make sure everything looks good. I make sure that all of the way I have the flowers done and the way I've got it all like strategically put down works perfect for this layout. And make sure that you go check out Laura's. Make sure that you go check out um, Katie Squires as well. All of their layouts are amazing. Everybody's um, take on this and the scrap lift is perfect. I just love how this turns out. I love how whimsical but yet for me stunning this looks. Even And this unfortunately is my last photograph of the the word wall or the wing wall that was done in Mooresville when I went to go see Amy that one weekend and I'm just like oh I feel so sad but I'm so glad that I was able to capture all of them I was able to do all of my layouts with some type of collection and I can't wait to put them all in my I'm going to actually Put them in frames and I'm going to place them on my wall because I feel that each layout represents a little bit of something of me. So it worked out perfect. And now I'm just placing down these bigger um, embellishments worth of flowers and I'm placing down some more thread. I just wanted thread to just pop with this certain style of layering that I'm doing. And I think it looks perfect. I love the black. I love the gray that I added. I just love the little bits that I did do in this. Obviously, you all know that the still shots are at the end. I do make sure that I splatter. Obviously, we got to have splatters because there's splatters in the layout that we are scrap lifting. I'm just not doing it by the color of the rainbow. I am bringing in my shimmers paints and it's called heavy metal and it it's like a gray shimmery style color layout or um sorry uh, ink uh, mixed media splatters there we go those are the words I was looking for and I thought I was going to put a massive title on here but I really don't the title that I do do and that I do love about it is it's the little moments that matter and the little moments do matter hanging out with friends matter um, you know, work matters, you know, the little things at work matter, the little things for my family matters. And I just thought that that was a perfect uh, title for this. And the other little title that I do do that I put in there is Home is Where You Are. And I do feel like being with um, Amy and hanging out with her family and just having a fun time with her and to her family, I do feel that I am at home. And I know that she feels that um, when we're hanging out that we are like at home. We can act ourselves. We don't have to put on a different persona or anything like that. So I thought it worked out perfect. And now I'm just pretty much finishing up. This is almost done. I'm just doing up my little bits of layering. I do come in with my splatters. I just kind of go back through this. I do move that... Um, owl just a little bit out because I kind of wanted you to see a little bit more of that blue because I felt like this strip was just 
missing a little bit of it. So I do put the title down. I'm coming in with my splatters. The still shots are coming up. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel along with Laura. Go check out hers and subscribe to her. If you are new to my channel, thanks for being here. If you are a veteran to my channel, thanks for coming back and checking me out. And I'm going to leave you with the splatters. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye!